Welcome to Arkaver City Online Lectures. In my previous lecture, I shown you how to calculate frequency distribution table and percentages using Excel pivot table option. In this lecture, I am going to demonstrate how to calculate a frequency distribution table, which is also called as a cross tab or cross tabulation. In cross tabulation, you will have a two variables. In a frequency distribution table, in the previous lecture, we used only one variable, but now we look at the relationship between the two variables. And the same, we can calculate the count of the two variables as well as a percentage. Now we see how to do that. Here is our database, which has data on our variables like a gender, age, marital status, education, occupation, family size, and a frequency of month. This data has been collected from different retail outlets. In this lecture, we'll see who are actually the frequent visitors to retail outlets in a particular location. So here we have a frequency of the month that is number of times an individual or a customer visited the retail outlet in a month. This we check with the gender in the sense how many male respondents visited the store or who are most frequently visiting our store. To get that we have two variables one is a frequency for month and the second one is the gender. Using these two variables we create a pivot table. So to get a pivot table click on any cell in the uh, database then uh, click insert then click a uh, pivot table now select the range range automatically it got selected now choose new worksheet then click ok in a new worksheet you have a pivot table and pivot table fields so we are saying that frequency of the per month and gender so select the frequency per month and put it in a rows then uh, select the gender and put it in a columns. Now you can see that you have a rows where uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that is a 3 to 4 times per month, 5 to 6 times per month and 7 to 8 times per month and above. Then here in the columns you have a female and male. To get the values, we can select a frequency per month or gender. So I will take a gender and put it in a values. The table is created. Here it shows that 3 to 4 months number of females and male total is here. To get a percentages of this, once again drag the gender into values box. We have a second column. Now what you do is double click on this, then show values as percentage of grand total. From the total number of respondents who visited the retail outlets, we are interested to know who are the frequent visitors. So that's the reason why percentage of grand total. Select this one, click OK. Now you got a percentage values here. If you observe here, 67% are visiting our store five to six times in a month. Next highest is visiting three to four times in a month. And the third one is seven to eight times in a month. Now to get this into your Word document, copy this. Then right click, paste special as. Now you can just uh, name this as a frequency. Similarly, you can change this as respondents, then percentage. Here your percentages are in a decimals. So now round them off. By holding a control key, you can select uh, each column separately. Then home, percentage, then two decimal values. Percentages has been calculated. Now once you are done with this, copy the table, then go to Microsoft Word document and paste. Now you can format here, just uh, auto fit to window, then uh, you can change the var variable names, then as well as the values. And as uh, shown in the previous videos, you can even uh, design this by giving a design, then changing the names. So here this is a respondent then percentage you can simply put a percentage icon here once you have a table in microsoft excel you can edit it in whichever the way or whichever the format you wish now coming back to your pivot table so here we have uh, calculated the pivot table next if we wish to know among female and male respondents who are visiting that means what percentage of respondents are visiting your store I mean then simply uh, on a gender, double click on this. Now show values as 
here instead of a percentage of a grand total you can click a percentage of column total and click ok now you can see that from a female respondents of the total 100% female respondents 62% are visiting 5 to 6 times the store and from a male respondents nearly 73% of the respondents are visiting 5 to 6 times now you can see that this table is different from this one because the same pivot table you can spin it multiple times to get this uh, different information from the data set so in one case we got it a values of a total or we can say the percentage of a grand total here we are getting a values for the percentage of a column total and once you are done this with calculation again the same copy then uh, paste special you can make edits here then once you are done with the edit then copy the table and paste it in a Microsoft Word and you write a report here. This is the advantage of a power tables in the sense you can spin the table for different formats or different uh, styles to get different kind of information from the same data. So this uh, spinning depends on your requirement. Now instead of let us say uh, frequency per month and we calculated a gender if you don't want a frequency per month but you want to know the family size. So simply drag the family size here. You will get a family size and gender. This is how you can calculate cross tabulations and percentages using Microsoft Excel. Thank you. Thank you for watching the lecture.